English grammar. Do we need it? Let me think. Yes. Why? Because it's a set of rules. Who's going to teach you those rules? I am. So, let's begin. But first, a little bit of history. So, many hundreds of years ago, the English language was very similar to Sp Spanish or French or German, okay? Because it was based on the Germanic language. So, when we spoke about the black cat, in the old English, we would have said the cat black. Hmm, verbs are the opposite way around. Strangely enough, if we still had that system, learning other languages, including English, would be an awful lot easier. But anyway, let's move on. Nouns. Nouns are places, people or things. Some nouns need to have a capital letter. I'm Joanne. Joanne is a noun, therefore I need a capital letter. I live on the wonderful island of Tenerife. Tenerife needs a capital letter. This is my friend Snail. Snail doesn't need a capital letter, but if I was to call him Derek, then Derek would. So Derek the Snail. Derek capital letter, Snail not necessary, but it's still a noun. This is my Snoopy Cup. Snoopy is a character and therefore needs a capital letter. My cup doesn't need a capital letter, it just needs more coffee. That's all about nouns. So remember, nouns are places, people and things, and some of them need a capital letter, like me. Verbs are actions or states that are happening now, in the past or in the future. For example, it was my birthday, so I visited the zoo yesterday as a treat. Was is the state because it was in the past. I visited or visited is the verb because that describes what I did. There are a number of common verbs that we use, such as was, am, is, are, have, has or had. That's verbs. They describe or an action or a state. Enjoy verbs. Adverbs describe verbs. Max will leave soon. Soon is the adverb. It tells you when Max is leaving. Another example. Later, the puppy saw a cat and barked loudly. Later is the adverb. It gives you a sense of time and loudly <coughs> tells you about how the dog was barking. So, adverbs describe verbs. They make things more interesting. Enjoy adverbs. Adjectives. Adjectives describe nouns and pronouns. And we'll talk about pronouns later. But first of all, let's say hello to my friend Snail, Derek. Derek moves slowly. But slowly is not an adjective. So we would have to say Derek is a slow, that's the adjective, mover. However, Derek has a friend named Hedgehog and Hedgehog is able to move more quickly. He is fast. Fast is our adjective. We use many adjectives. For example, the ball is bouncy. I have a bouncy ball. That table is modern. Modern is your adjective. I love to see toys made from wood or if we want to say it with an adjective, wooden toys. That's adjectives. Check out pronouns next. Pronouns are words that take the place of nouns in a sentence. For example, Draco is a dragon. He, the pronoun, is absolutely gorgeous. This is Bella. Bella is a unicorn. Bella is a girl. She, the pronoun, is mine. I love Bella. Together, they, the pronoun, are a pair of wonderful little creatures. We use pronouns in different ways. Me, my, I, you, your, yourself, themselves. The pronouns that we use help us to make sure that our sentences are interesting, that we are not just repeating a noun. So I'm not just going, Drake or this, Drake or that. I can say, he is fabulous. Together, they work well. We love them. Pronouns. 
So, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any others, press the subscribe button. If you want to make sure you never miss a video, you can do the ding dong bell. And you can find somewhere around here, or here, or here, or even here, other links to videos that I've created. Take care for now. Bye.